what's up gi babies we're back with another video and today we're working with miss lynn's hair and as you guys can see i did this fun little look with these bantu knots and i feel like they came out so cute so first i'm just showing you guys what came inside of the box so we got some lashes some press ones and it actually came with some makeup brushes so that was actually really cute and this unit is a kinky curly unit but i feel like it's more like on like the real world curly side and they're supposed to be like 4c edges but these edges were like very very realistic and very manageable and you don't have to like already cut your baby hairs and like take them out yourself they're already there for you so today we're working with the erica che glue and you guys know when i use this glue you're not supposed to blow dry it so just make sure you keep that in mind because if you do not use this product correctly it will not give you the results that everybody gets so just make sure that you guys just let it air dry and you will get the good results so now i'm just cutting off the lace with my eyebrow razor and some of those baby hairs i did have to cut off in the middle but i did make sure to leave them on the side so i wouldn't have to worry about having to take out hair because they already have hair there for you so make sure you're very cautious of how you're like positioning the lace because you don't want to put it on too far to the point where the edges that's already out for you doesn't look realistic so make sure you're placing it accordingly so that's what i wanted to do so i can make sure that i keep them on the sides because i knew i was doing like a fun hairstyle so i wanted it to be like as natural looking as possible but i did have to go back and add some glue in the places where i needed to add more so that's what you guys see me doing here So now I'm just taking some pump it up spritz and I put the rat tail comb inside of the pump it up spritz and I go in with my blow dryer and I was just taking an alcohol pad just getting rid of all the excess makeup and stuff that I had on there because I didn't want it to look crazy and I'm actually using skin guard for my hair to like slick it a little bit more the Erica J skin guard I see her do this and it actually does work so if you guys wonder like could I use this for something else other than skin guard yeah you can but as you guys can see this hair looks so natural you could stop here you could just wear it like this but of course I've been doing a lot of curly units so I just wanted to do something different and something really cute
so now we're starting these bantu knots and i do have everything in real time for this because i really wanted you guys to see exactly what i was doing now i was just going to do some traditional parts with the bantu knots but i did want to do something different so um like i said everything is going to be in real time so you guys are just gonna basically see me do everything it's very self-explanatory um i don't really have any tips for it it's very easy um you just really have to watch me do it To run the streets in the dark out and come through and bring it back out. I hope that's okay. But I did decide to add like the little beads with the twist on the side. I originally wanted to do braids, but um, the braids was kind of like a little bit hard. So I wanted to do something a little easier. So I just went ahead and did some twists and that is really easy, really fast. And it still gives you the same look.
I got too many hoes. Okay, yeah, you. Put that shit in your nose. But I still love you. Doing shit that nobody knows. And for these bantu knots, I did go ahead and rubber band my parts first before I did do the bantu knots because I just felt like that just made everything look a little bit more crisp. And I did slightly over bleach the knots, so um, we are gonna fix those later, so don't even mind it. But um, I would say in between your parts, make sure you are using some type of gel and you are using your hot comb before you add the gel just to make sure that everything is very crisp and how you want it. To run the streets in the dark out, then come through and bug it back out. I hope that's okay. I can't leave you alone. No, no. and after i'm done with those parts i go ahead and spray some holding spray just to ensure that my parts stay looking very crisp and neat So for these parts, the first two in the middle, like the little triangles, I did do braids. And for the rest of them, I did twist. And you guys are going to see me do the method where you take out the hair because I did want some of the hair coming out of my bantu knots on the two opposite sides. So you guys are just going to see me doing that. But I did braid the first two and just twist those around like regular bantu knots. And then I did some twists, like I said before, and took the hair out just so it can give like that effect and leaving the hair out made a big help like it was like a big help because you don't have to worry about like having to take hair out it's already hair out for you so i feel like the twist made it like a little bit more neater as well Better 
gotta kiss it before I go. If you be nasty, don't at me. I've been working all day. And before I went ahead and start twisting them into the Bantu knots, I did go ahead and take a black pencil and some black loop liner and just get those parts looking right. And now that all the Bantu knots are done, we are going to go ahead and add our beads on. And we are pretty much done, you guys. Um, these beads are very easy to use if you use this little thing that come with the beads. Then you just slide your hair through and the beads slide right on. And I'm just doing my last little touches on my baby hair, trying to make sure everything looks good. I didn't want to do too much for these baby hairs because... This hair, the baby hairs that already came out with it, it just looks so natural. So I didn't want to do too, too much. That's why I didn't even add that much product on there. I just wanted it to look very natural, very seamless because this hairstyle is already a lot and it has a lot going on. It looks really good and I didn't want to mess it up with the baby hairs. and this is the final look you guys i love the way this came out it is just so cute and you guys already know all the information for this unit will be down below as well as there is a discount code down there so y'all can get some money off if y'all decide to purchase this unit so make sure you guys check out that description box and shop miss lynn's hair and i love you guys so much if you guys love this video don't forget to give you girl a like comment and subscribe and we'll be back more videos soon stay blessed jay yeah, babies we out